Yeah. On. She doesn't like penis and vagina graffiti. I don't know why I'm so shocked that none of the dresses fit. Oh. <laughs> Axiom. It's... Hi. Hello. Welcome to Mordale for our set tour, a special pulling back of the curtain. I'm going to be presenting and directing the entire endeavour. You're supposed to yell, cut. 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 Cut! Cut it! There flies the flag over the iconic Mordale building. School values. Yeah, don't worry about those. So this used to be a university gym, but we have made it our own little bit of Hollywood. These are all interior sets. So that's the outside of Jean's house, so Notice's house. Al? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Mm. Tell me where we are now. We are in Mordale's most iconic, most famous corridor. Well, it's not that iconic this year because all of the graffiti has gone. Why has it been painted? We've got a new monarch, as you know. Who, pray tell, is that, ma'am? It's Hope Haddon. Who's mm. she? Who's she played Remember by? Remember the name. Jemima Kirk. Oh, she's the new head person? Yeah, she's the new head person. And yeah. she doesn't like penis and vagina graffiti. Let's be a team player. Have you done lots of scenes in this corridor? Lots. There's a bit of um, post-masturbation crumpet actually. I've been wanking all night. I've had two packets of crumpets and I think my clip might drop off. Ring any bells? No. Two packets, one. I do a double yes oh, at the some point. That the is, iconic. That is huge. Really? And Axion. Do you think that the writers are now writing for you both because you have such a lovely relationship in the real of life? That's a good question. Probably. I hope so. I do think a lot of our real life idiosyncrasies yes, have, have made it. blended into the Maeve and Amy tapestry. The Maeve. Because you, you, you seem to finish each other's senses, which makes me feel warm and gooey inside. Aww. <laughs> I think on a good day, it's really love. It might be really sweet, and then sometimes the it doesn't stop. I think we're quite annoying. You know. When, uh, <laughs> I got, yeah, I got scared. Said, Mr. Graf. Off. Can we see your locker? Is of that course oh, you can. 122. If you could choose any number on the planet, what would it be? Number one. <laughs> That's my girl. Of course. A kilo sale um, advert, which probably makes a lot of sense. Vintage clothing, mm -hmm. which is very important to Amy. Her notebook mm. is 70s. Look, a cake sale. Nice. Amy's also, made some vulva cupcakes this year. Right, off you go. Well, Bye. I hope to be back. Bye. Bye. We hope crossed. to welcome you back soon. Great. Um, so I'm now standing outside the um, iconic old part of uh, Mordale, which is made up of very old brick, and it has windows. Look at that maintenance. We're over here. Ah, great. Hi. We have Mimi and uh, Sammy, who obviously play Raheem and Ruby, two burgeoning iconic characters of the show. Mimi, you are considered the queen of the untouchables. But I'm a lot nicer. Yes, a lot then, nicer in yeah. real life. I can, but I, I, it's fun, fun to be a bitch. Is it really? Yeah. I might have to try that. Do you take that into real life or not at all? Never. Never? No. Sammy, you look like you might. I do. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not a secret, I don't care. Also very famous for having your own personal sort of untouchable bench. I'll show you. If you wanted to join the Untouchables and become a part of this bench existence, how, how would like how would I do that, for example? I don't think you can. Is there a scene that you filmed on this bench that we might be able to hear? I've walked away from the bench. In a huff. It's. Oh, That's so it. It just it's all done with well, the look. Well, standing up, so it's. Standing up and an like a. Oh. Ot. Bag. It's quite intimidating. Thank uh, you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, broke up with me on on this bench. Oh, yeah. quite, and was yeah. right. So this represents trauma for you. Yeah. He can hold your hand, but I'm not sure he can catch you. If you want to cry, you really, it's okay. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm moved on, it's okay. What's so great about the position of this bench in relation to the school? Is it, is it because you see everything happening? It's or that everyone can it? see you. Oh, right, yeah. so it's about people seeing you, Absolutely. not you seeing everyone else. <laughs> exactly. No. Yeah. Thank you for, for having me, us, to, to witness your, yes, bench. You're amazing. Can we just keep walking away from those people, please? That's the bike rack. That's where Eric and Otis park their bikes. Bikes. Costume. 
Let's see who's in here. Obviously, this is a formal costume fitting. Um, what you don't know is that uh, Connor Swindells, who plays my son Adam, is the show's costume designer, emeritus, and uh, George Robinson here, who obviously plays Isaac. Connor, you're giving us a nice tour of your jacket, which um, is very much Adam's signature look. Um, obviously, playing in the costume department is quite fun. Uh, anything else that's caught your eye? Green is very much your colour. Did you choose that because it makes your eyes pop? Yes. Yes. Rosa uh, is obviously the costume designer. Um, I remember when I first started talking about this show, um, I assumed that everyone would be in a school uniform. That's very much not the case. Did you have a lot to do with uh, your own sort of costume styles, the pair of you? I liked the jacket with Adam because it had that sort of hard shell, soft interior. For Isaac, one of them was a full-on velour tracksuit. And why was that vetoed? That sounds wonderful. At the end of the day, I think that's what we all strive for, is to be taken seriously as artists. And I thought for the tracksuit is going to take away from that. And does it help being taken seriously if you have a cock and balls on your head? Usually, yeah. I remember Robert De Niro um, for uh, some of the costume fittings for Raging Bull. It uh, was called Raging Balls and then they That's changed good. it to Raging Bull. Connor, do you have anything else to show us? Leave me be, keep asking George questions. You copped quite a lot of uh, online grief. How was yes. that living through? They thought I was convincing enough as a sarcastic bellend. Yeah, so, so... you know, typecast again. You're not, yeah. No. I don't know why I'm so shocked that none of the dresses fit. I'm now fully naked. Where are we now, Connor? The English classroom. What's Adam like at school? Is he a good good pupil? Uh, I think he's quite shit. Is he? As a student. And uh, what was Connor like at school? Quite shit. As really? a student. I was, no, I mean, I was all right at school. Well, you're a very good artist, we know. Obviously, you know, the cast are very lucky and the crew are very lucky to have one of your magnificent posters. People think that, you know, I'm more of an expressionist, but I was actually trying to make them photorealistic. So, so you describe your work them. as impressionistic, wannabe, photorealistic, a bit shit? But that's part of the charm. George, what do you reckon? Is it going to reach the window? I reckon, the wait, I'm saying third, third row. <laughs> First row. Good. Back outside the modern section of Moordale, um, there is our emblem, very proud of that, and the bleachers, which uh, overlook our extensive sporting hey, facility. Al. Hello, Patricia. Hello! We're going to six form common room. Do you want to come? Uh, yeah, I'd love yeah. to. Yeah, great. Oh, oh OK. This is the common room. Yes. yes. Who spends most of their time in here? Me and Kida. We're really? always playing ping pong, I guess. You and Kida. I'm very good. Pong. There is a scene that um, Shooty and Ata shot where they were sat by the window and I walked uh, past. That's Ata's right. like. No. Ginny, you're head girl. I am. How did that come about? Hope being yeah. head girl. And I always try and think, what would Michelle Obama do really? <laughs> when I'm acting? So, is that, so hopefully she's your inspiration. She's my inspiration. Just in terms of your characters, how have they, how have they sort of morphed and, and, and moved on from season two? Well, I guess we're gay now. Yeah, and, and I think this year we've, we've been discovering what our characters are really like in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And there's a... <laughs> hey, sir, get in here! Hey! Oh. <laughs> you were just sort of, what were you doing? Were you just walking around on set? I was bored, and so I went to just wander around. If you weren't doing this right now, where, what, what would you be doing? In your trailer, would you be doing a scene? But Nothing. Many, many things, many possible things. Really, like what? What, like, does, what does Asa Butterfield do when he's not on set? I might be um, in my trailer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might be playing some, throwing some frisbee around. You know, we had a little frisbee session yeah. going on earlier. Awesome. Do any of you play ping pong? Yes. Uh, would anyone like to have a game? Yes. I'll, I'll grab, the grab the bats. So I just do that? Any way you want. Oh. oh my God. Good to know the intellectuals oh. in the school are very sporty as well. Oh my God. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh. Tanya, where's your favorite location to film? Is it at school? I love Lily's bedroom because it's so naughty and there are just willies everywhere mm -hmm. and bombs. And did you have any say in the design of that? No, mm -hmm. but I would love to remodel my own bedroom in a similar fashion. Thank you very much for, for um, yeah, uh, bringing me now. back to school. Um, it's nice to be back. It's uh, obviously I haven't been here all year, but um, I will return in triumph. We're leaving now. See ya. Excuse me. Bye. Me and my camera. I've got to go. Bye. So thank you all for joining me on this uh, this little journey, this expose of uh, behind the scenes at Moordale. Hope you enjoyed the season. Oh.
Oh. Okay. Oh. Right. There you go. Off. <laughs>